here's the final unboxing for now um, of the uh, Shogun Steel Wave 3. Anyway, here is Banded Genbu. It's a stamina type. those if you ever so wished. Alright, um, Bandit Genbu, or Bandit Genbul, as I will probably be calling it for the rest of this, because Genbu just sounds weird, is a turtle, and he is a lot like, he is basically the Nutraceal. I'm just gonna say that. Like, from the old school ones, he's like the reincarnation of Drasil. Which is very cool, because Drasil was always one of my favorites. So, that's that. Now, again, same with the Pegasus and Gear Go unboxing. I do not have the Japanese version. Yeah, I don't have the Japanese version. Because, just like the other two, it is very expensive because it was in a random booster. If it goes down, I'll probably get it, but it's like 40 bucks. Just. Actually, I think it's closer to like 50 just for one, and that. It's ridiculous, so I got this for like eight, so you know, you gotta pick your battles. So, instruction manual is the card here. The code if you ever so wish to use it. Green tool, kind of a throwback to Drasil, it feels. This very cool metallic blue launcher. A lot like the launcher from Galaxy Pegasus, and this gray ripcord that matches this very well, actually. Alright, and now to the Beyblade itself. So here is the stone face, with the sticker there, with this blue. This is the only part that's actually all that different from the Japanese version. Because the Japanese version is purple and has a silver imprint, which is what makes Bandit Genbul so pretty, is that face. So it's a little disappointing that they didn't at least keep the purple. But, oh well. The Genbul, or Genbu, metal wheel. You can see the turtle. It's got these tentacles coming up. It's got this hexagon shape with these circles for stamina and the hexagon pieces are for blocking so for defense very good for synchrome oh, this was... sorry I didn't know I was doing that yeah uh, Sorry, the camera's kind of weird. Okay, the banded or bandit wheel. Very pretty blue color. F230, stands for free 230. And I'm going to say this right now. This F230 in the Banded Again Bowl starter works a lot better than the one in the two-pack with Berserker, Begarotos, and the Bandit Gorn. I'm not sure why, but for whatever the reason, this one spins very well. The one in the two-pack isn't bad by any means, it's still good, it's just it can be a little stiff, whereas this spins really good. So this is, this is probably, if you want F-230 and you don't want to have to buy a Japanese version, 
this is really good because it's just as good as the Japanese version. I don't have the Japanese version of Bent Genbol, but I have a brown Takara Tomy F230. It has a crack in it now, so I don't really use it, but this is about how well it worked. So, and finally, here is TB, which stands for Twin Ball, because it has this little ball point there, and the entire shape of it is a big ball, too. Very cool performance. Still. Looks nice, but its main feature is because, well, it has low friction in any stadium, especially the Zero G Stadium. So that's good. And here is Bandit Genpo, or the Genpo. Now, unlike the Pegasus unboxing and the Garago unboxing, I will say, other than the face bolt, they kept the colors almost exactly. It's the orange and the blue, and this is still like the silver. It's a little disappointing that the all of these three didn't come with the stickers because they all have stickers that go on the metal wheel, like right in here and everything. Same with the Pegasus and Garago, but it didn't come with any of the stickers, so it doesn't, it automatically isn't as pretty looking, because it doesn't have all those cool stickers, you know? So that's a little disappointing. Anyway, that is about it for this unboxing. Hope to see you guys soon.